All right, last one. Uh, well, last video. <laughs> I'm going to do one more like we did the last time where we're going to plug in these answer options. Now, last time we went ahead and did this slope formula, and that's a good thing to do. It's going to narrow it down to two options. I'm just going to skip that step for this one. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 3 for x and 7 for y. Here, I'm just going to use my calculator. Uh, let's, no, I use the calculator. It's too easy. All right, so 3 for x, 7 for y. 7 for y, 3 for x. Uh, 3 for x, and I'm going to plug in 7 for y. 3 for x, and I'm going to plug in 7 for y. All right, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 6. Well, that's 3, which is not equal to 7. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. Well, that's not equal to 7. Dang it. It's taking forever. Um, and now, here's where we got some fractions. So, 1 third times 3. Well, 1 third of 3 is equal to 1. And so you get 1 minus 6, which is negative 5, not 7. Oh, man. So it's got to be D. Uh, you know, this is equal to 1, this part. And then 1 plus 6, that is equal to 7. And then go ahead and plug in 6 for X and 8 for Y. We'll just finish up here. All right, 8 for Y equals 1 third times 6 uh, plus 6. All right, so 1 third of 6, uh, we can do, you know, 6 times 1, multiply those. So that's 6, and then we're going to divide that by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2, and there you go. Do get 8. So that works out. Good job. You're doing great. All right, last thing. This is a nice little thing that you can do for multiple choice questions, and it really does help. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to plot these two points. All right. So if you have some graph paper, this is a lot easier. If you're using Desmos for some reason, it'd be even way easier. All right, 5, negative 1. Two, three, four, five, and then negative one right there. Okay, that's my five, negative one, and then negative two, comma six. Uh, one, two, that's my negative two, and then comma six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll work. Oh, I almost put the point there. It actually goes right there. All right. So we plotted our points, and now if I go through and actually you know, draw the line-ish, it doesn't have to be perfect. If I draw the line, I can tell you know, just by looking at these options which one it is. I know it's got a negative slope, so it can't be either of those two. It's got to have a negative slope. And the y-intercept is positive. It's positive 4. So it's not this one, because that's negative 4. That's it. Hopefully that'll uh, give you enough ways to do these problems. Good luck.